Aloha, we're Mohana. We're here again with yet another episode of the Invertebrate Invitational. Today I've invited the Suriname roach. Now this is not the same as the B-52 roach that comes to your house. These are definitely soil and decomposer organisms. They do not like to be indoors and they're not gonna bother you. But they are really cool and really fun and really fast. And I encourage you to order up a box of Suriname roaches so you can have some fun with them. They are super, super fast. They are type A personalities. They run around like crazy and they are always looking for someplace dark to go. They're really good climbers. They're really good burrowers. And once again, besides eating a lot of the decaying organic matter in the bin, they are also aerating like crazy because they're moving around, moving around, moving around. And they're very strong, very fast, and really interesting. These guys do incomplete metamorphosis, which means they don't change their form very much. They're eggs, and then they're going to be um, nymphs and they will go through several instars, several molts, before they become adults with wings. So before they all run away, let me show them to you real quick. Okay, let's start with a nymph. Okay, one character, well, let's start with the adult, because I think it'll be easier to see the uh, pronotum, which is an anatomical feature I'd like to point out to you. Let's see if we can get it. So all roaches have an anatomical feature that's characteristic of roaches only and it is a little shield got it a little shield that protects the thorax do you see that shiny little shield sh shaped thing all roaches have that that's called the pronotum and it's a characteristic of the roach or blatarian group so when you can look at your b52s you'll notice that they all at all stages in their life have that little shield over the thorax so that's how you could recognize someone from the roach family a blatarian. So this is an adult with wings. They get their wings. Yep, they can fly as well as burrow and climb. They are just amazing. Look at that guy go. Actually, it's not a guy. It's a girl. All of the roaches you see are females. They do not do reproduction in the normal way. And uh, these, are, these are all females. They reproduce by parthenogenesis. You can look it up. Anyhow, that's our little female. And we also have in here, unless they disappeared, some nymphs, some of the immature stages. And they also have the pronotum, but they don't have their wings yet. Let's see if we can spot the pronotum on this nymph. Can you see it? It's a little shield. There's the head. And you know, all insects have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. But this guy's thorax is covered by the pronotum. And you can see no wings. It's a nymph. So they will go through several instars, several molts before they get their wings and become adults. And they break dance really good. Come on, guy. Do, 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 do. <laughs> They're so much fun. Oh, and here's a real interesting one. Sorry, nymph. There you go. Here's one. And people see these and they go, oh, look, there's an albino. But it's not an albino at all. What's happened is that this instar, this roach, this nymph, has just recently molted his exoskeleton. He outgrew it. And his new one has not hardened yet or gotten its brown color. So this is a regular old nymph who's just molted and still and doesn't have his hard shell on yet. His exoskeleton hasn't hardened up yet from his molt. And this is when they're very vulnerable to get eaten because one, they're very visible. And two, they're really soft. They don't have that hard shell. So this is not an albino roach. It is just a nymph who just recently finished a molt. Okay, these guys are so fun and so cool. So please order some up and you can have a chance to observe them. They are quite, quite, quite extraordinary. And there's the adult, there's a nymph, and there's a recently, how about that? Oh, good shot. A recently molted nymph. So they'll go through several molts to get to their adult stage. I would not put these in your worm bin. They would be far better and happier in your green waste pile or just let them go in the environment. These guys are really very hardy and they can fend for themselves. Okay, don't put them in your worm bin. They belong elsewhere. They're gonna find their way in there anyhow, but you don't need to introduce them. They're terrific decomposers and a wonderful member of the decomposer community and lots of fun. 
Hey, gal. And off they go. See you next time.